Hi, and welcome to my video blog on multimedia in the classroom. As I sit here in my classroom, I'm surrounded by reminders of the world and the day and age that I teach in. I have laptop and desktop computers, I have my video document viewer, my digital microscopes, my computer-based lab equipment over in the lab office. And really when the students get here, that just gets multiplied. They come in with their iPads and their iPods and their smartphones and are basically connected to their friends and family and the rest of the world, however much they would like to be and whenever they would like to be. So with all of this information and technology available, the, it sort of begs the question, is it beneficial to my students and their learning to incorporate this into my classroom experience? The fact is there are downsides to technology. Uh, many a time I've come in with a tech-based lesson plan only to find out that the internet connection is down that day or somebody else has signed out the laptops. That said, there are a great many benefits to bringing technology into the classroom, especially in the form of multimedia. Multimedia in the classroom can mean a great many things. As Robley or Doring allude to, the term multimedia simply means many forms of media. This can be video, images, sounds, any kind of media that incorporates more than one mode of learning. The number of ways such multimedia can be incorporated into the classroom is as diverse as the media itself. There are some key benefits at the core of multimedia, however. First of all, it's engaging. Students respond to it because it's exciting, it's new, and it's out of the norm. Second, multimedia allows information to be internalized through different channels. It's not just reading text, it's reading and hearing, or reading, hearing, and seeing it enacted. This allows for better retention. Multimedia allows for flexible modes of learning. An excellent example of this is the work of Aaron Sams and Jonathan Bergman. These chemistry teachers asked the question, what is the best use of our face-to-face -face class time in chemistry? For them, the answer turned out to be lab activities and hands-on work that could help the students explore the world of chemistry and individualized instruction so that the teachers could be working one-on-one -on -one to help students learn and understand the issues they were individually working with. Of course, this led to the question, when will content be delivered? For Aaron and Jonathan, it turned out to be that time was outside of class. They began to flip their classroom and provide video instruction to the students and they, that the students could access outside of class. Use of video in this case created a whole new style of teaching for them that centered on the students' needs and giving them the hands-on time in class when they needed it. Multimedia also allows for creativity. You could take language classes to a, a computer lab and have them voice over old movies in French or Spanish or German or whatever language. Teachers can incorporate animations they create into their lessons. And gaming can be used to help students review material both visually and auditorily. Through the incorporation of multimedia, students can create real products. Products that they're proud to give out to the world and share with their classmates, their parents, and really everybody else. This increases both motivation and energy levels in the classroom. As you can see, there are many benefits to incorporating multimedia in the classroom. I would go a little further and even say that the use of multimedia is not just beneficial, it's necessary. In her section in this book, 21st Century Skills, Cheryl Lundke states that students that learn through means that incorporate multiple forms of media, that is multimedia, outperform their counterparts that are learning through single modes. Clearly, if multimedia improves both understanding and performance, it is worth investigating. Lastly, I would say that students today are surrounded by multimedia in just about every aspect of their lives. As teachers, it falls at least in part upon us to help them learn to navigate and make sense of this world. If information is inundating them constantly, they need to learn the skills to make sense of it. If they're to be informed individuals, they're going to have to learn to sort and vet all of this data. 
So while care must be taken to ensure that the ways media are, multimedia are being applied to the classroom experience are proper and useful and not just superfluous to whatever else was happening. In my opinion, there are clear reasons for taking the time to do so. My name is John Freer. Thank you for watching.